Hey guys, it's your Lady Belcher and I score like the car and thank you so much guys for your subscription and for the new subscribers, welcome to my channel and to my repeat viewers, continue viewing my content and share my content. Today, I'm here guys, I want us to have a chit chat about this guy, Pastor, so-called Paul McKenzie. Guys, how can people be brainwashed like this? like this by somebody a human being how when you know what by the time we get surprised because of this something else just boom happens this is a massacre this is a massacre just happened in Kilifi county mombasa and you know what i don't understand how something like this can happen where there's a governor there's an mp there's people there's movement no wonder Kilifi looks a little bit dead What's going on? What? Not only in Kenya, but this is terrible. How can you be convinced by somebody who is looking terrible that you starve yourself to death and you're going to, to see God or you're going to see Jesus? When did we stop believing in God and start believing people? When did we stop, you know, having a little faith and start listening to what people are brainwashing us with? Guys, you need to be careful. I can't believe a human being can be this cruel. This is so barbaric. This is a human being, somebody with blood, committing a massacre, killing more than 90 plus people. I know what? This guy is not just alone. There is a lot of people involved in this case, in this massacre of Kilifi County. This pastor needs to be tortured. Slowly by slowly, until he mentioned, he mentions one, each and every person involved in this massacre. But this guy is not alone. There's a lot of people involved in this massacre. You know, poverty is such a terrible thing. Because everybody who has lost their life there is believing that I'm coming out of poverty and living a better life. But how can you be convinced by somebody who is looking poor himself? What's, what's wrong with people? Anyway, we might say he uses some voodoos or maybe some ritual stuff to make you look like a zombie. You don't understand yourself, you know, like you're just there. But tell me, how will you stay somewhere where there's 10, 4, 5, 15, 20 people who are starving to death and you're just sitting there waiting yourself to die? You cannot run? No way. I think these people, there was something different, not just being starved to death. There was something different in these people that are not just being starved to death. I just think Kenya, we need to do what uh, the president of uh, Rwanda did. You know, this guy closed over 6,000 6, churches and mosques, and he ended up demanding a theology degree from each and every leader who is calling themselves a pastor, who is calling themselves a preacher, who is calling themselves a prophet, all those people. And I think we need to do this. You just see people around town, you know, in the bus stations there, having a Bible and talking things that you don't even understand what these people are talking about. As much as I understand, cleanliness is next to godliness. These people who are all over the country preaching, if you look some of them, you will be surprised. You're a man, of, you're a child of God. God loves us. You understand? Sometimes we do mistakes that put her as a human being in some situation, in some poverty type of situation to a point of you end up losing yourself and being manipulated and gaslighted by these so-called pastors and prophets and preachers and that kind of stuff. We need to get, we need to raise our eyebrows and get out of this. I am not perfect. But trust me, I will not stay with someone who's talking about, I'm going to throw you in the balcony. I will not stay with someone who is talking about having some, you know, poisons and killing themselves. This is somebody, is might already. There's a, 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 a voice speaking out of this somebody. It's not being mad. It's not being depressed. It's not being drunk. There's a voice coming out of this someone. It's not normal. So stop believing people and put it in your mind is because the drink we are drinking is because this guy, is, this person has been going through depression. It's because of this somebody has been disturbed. No. 
it is what it is. There's a voice speaking. And this voice doesn't just come like that. You need to be delivered. You need to go to church. You need to kneel down, even yourself, and pray for yourself. If you hear yourself having those voices of doing some funny, funny stuff and saying funny, funny things, you, you, don't, you don't just ignore things because devil is everywhere. And don't forget, Satan was also a child of God. And Satan is there getting his own people, getting God's people to his community, like Pastor Paul and the rest out there whom we don't know their story, which will come. There's a lot of people involved in this massacre. This is not even just a terrorist. This is not just a genocide. This is a massacre. We need to get serious into this because this is not something just to take it literally. This is something terrible. And it's happening and there's a lot of people. This guy has followers like nonsense. I just think Kenya, we need to do what uh, the president of uh, Rwanda did. You know, this guy closed over six, 6,000 churches and mosques. And he ended up demanding a theology degree from each and every leader who is calling themselves a pastor, who is calling themselves a preacher, who is calling themselves a prophet, all those people. And I think we need to do this. You just see people around town, you know, in the bus stations there, having a Bible and talking things that you don't even understand what these people are talking about. As much as I understand, cleanliness is next to godliness. These people who are all over the country preaching, if you look some of them, you will be surprised. You're a man, of, you're a child of God. God loves us. You understand? Sometimes we do mistakes that put us as a human being in some situation, in some poverty type of situation to a point of you end up losing yourself and being manipulated and gaslighted by these so-called pastors and prophets and preachers and that kind of stuff we need to get we need to raise our eyebrows and get out of this i am not perfect but trust me i will not stay with someone who's talking about i want to throw you in the balcony i will not stay with someone who is talking about having some you know poisons and killing themselves this is somebody is might already there is a, 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 a voice speaking out of this somebody it's not being mad it's not being depressed it's not being drunk there's a voice coming out of this someone it's not normal so stop believing people and put it in your mind it's because the drink we are drinking is because this guy this person has been going through depression it's because of this somebody has been disturbed no it is what it is there's a voice speaking and this voice doesn't just come like that. You need to be delivered. You need to go to church. You need to kneel down, even yourself and pray for yourself. If you hear yourself having those voices of doing some funny, funny stuff and saying funny, funny things, you, you, don't, you don't just ignore things because devil is everywhere. And don't forget Satan was also a child of God. And Satan is there getting his own people getting God's people to his community, like Pastor Paul and the rest out there whom we don't know their story, which will come. There's a lot of people involved in this massacre. This is not even just a terrorist. This is not just a genocide. This is a massacre. We need to get serious into this because this is not something just to take it literally. This is something terrible. And it's happening and there's a lot of people. This guy has followers like nonsense.